journey to the Arctic Ocean. Well, here we are, one more step in the journey to Taktoyaktok. We just reached the Dempster Highway, and now is time to take some of the air out of the tires. There's going to be a, I mean, potholes, maybe, ruts, maybe, but plenty of stone, gravel, just going to uh, soften up the ride a little bit. Blackstone uplands, they stretch from the North Fork Pass, which is the highest point on the Dumpster Highway, to Chapman Lake. They are a rich area for bird life, including long-tailed jaggers, gyro falcons, peregrine falcons, red-throated loons, wimbrels, upland sandpipers, and long-tailed ducks. It's a big game hunting area for doll sheep and grizzly bear. And the tundra, open tundra vegetation here is similar to the high arctic tundra. Hey everybody, it's day eight of our get out and wander adventure. We drove about 160 miles or 259k up the Dempster Highway and we ended up at a pullout rest area that overlooks the Peel River and its basin. So it's a really pretty sight down there. We're set up and we're going to relax for a while, then start dinner. But let me show you what this Peel River Basin looks like. Hey everybody, we're working on day nine right now and we've got a special stop that we just made. The Arctic Circle, latitude 66 degrees, 33 north. Pretty exciting. border that we've just crossed to Northwest Territories. Arctic Ocean, 415 kilometers. Taktoyaktuk, 40, 421 kilometers.
So we made it to the Peel River, just shy of Fort McPherson. We drove on the ferry and now uh, we are crossing the Peel River. So the time has arrived, we are here. The journey to the Arctic Ocean. And as you saw the head net, there are a million mosquitoes out. And if we're coming this far to the Arctic Ocean, there's only one more thing to do. Time to take the polar plunge. Stay down. And that's how you take the polar plunge in the Arctic Ocean. So 
so here we are sitting at the Arctic Ocean and it's time for a celebratory drink. Do you have anything to say, Dawn? It's been an exciting trip. It's a beautiful place with a wonderful travel companion. Cheers. Cheers. So when I was a kid growing up on a farm in Ohio, I'd look at a map at the uh, U.S. and Canada and look at the far distance and see these little dots with names way up in northern Canada. I always wanted to explore. And I feel like today I finally got there. I'm at the end of the road in Northwest Territories at the Arctic Ocean. So. I feel very fortunate I've, be, I've been able to fulfill one of my dreams. Now for an update from the police, they just passed by recently, they told us bad weather's coming and there's a possibility that some um, heavy winds are going to put 10 foot waves up on the beach behind me. And if that's the case, they're going to be coming around and asking everybody to move on. Uh, they did say they could have a muster point maybe at the airport or just hit the road and he head toward Inuvik. So that's the update for today. That's the end of our day and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Hey everybody, so a quick recap. Um, day 10 we had a great time in Tektoyetuk and then day 11 we heard about that storm. So we got going pretty early in the morning just to try to get away from it while we were driving. Uh, in the distance we saw a lot of lightning in the sky. So we were glad that we got out of there early. Um, not much to say about the drive itself. Had a nice uh, sprinkly day. Uh, there was some heavy fog up at the Yukon border, but other than that, uh, we had a uneventful drive. Pulled off at a roadside rest area that's also a emergency airstrip. We had some quick gas fill-ups at, uh, at Inuvik at Fort McPherson and Eagle Creek. And here we are this morning, ready to start a new day. See you on down the road. So on our way out Dempster Highway, we're gonna stop at Tombstone Interpretive Center. It's a park where they have backpacking and other information. The Dumpster Highway runs through the Tombstone Territorial Park and at mile 44 on the highway is the Tombstone Interpretive Center. It has a large parking area, um, outhouses, litter bins. It's open early May to late September. And the center provides interpretive programs. It issues backpacking, camping permits. It provides maps and hiking information. It also is a green designed building that has natural history and cultural displays 
a resource library, campfire talks, nature walks, and the Beaver Pond Interpretive Trail, which is wheelchair accessible. There's a short path that connects the Interpretive Center with the nearby campground. So that was a nice break on the Dempster Highway. Uh, it's a recommendation from us that uh, you could stop at Tombstone Interpretive Center and see all the information about the animals, geology, botany, a lot of information there. So uh, again, a good recommendation to stop. Now it's down to the Klondike Highway. Hey everybody, so there we have it. We made it there and back again on the Dempster Highway all the way to Tuktoyaktuk. And we had fair weather, small amount of rain. There's a bit of dirt and grime on the truck and camper which uh, we'll be taking off shortly. And I don't know if you could see it, but just one more star to add to the collection. So from here, we're gonna head toward White Horse. Um, uh, from there, we're gonna be heading south. So again, we've had a great journey. We uh, love to get out and wander. So see you down the road. Good day.